Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. We are back with video four for the 2005 Mercedes SL500. Yeah, it turns out that car right there was what's bringing all the boys to the yard. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and their life is better than yours. My Mercedes brings all the boys to the yard and their life is better than yours. Some, I don't even know the words of that song. What am I trying to be cool? Yeah, loving the cars. Loving, loving, loving the fact that I'm getting even more subscribers thanks to Rusty right there. So, Rusty, you're doing good. You're not doing good. Yeah, I just found a problem. Yep, we have an issue. We've got a leak right there in the ABC system. I wasn't even planning on that. <laughs> All right, I got my good shirt on. I've got my scanner right here, which only means we're doing a deep dive into the computers of the Mercedes R230. All right, we have the launch system powering up. We have her connected right over there. I have all kinds of oil and gobbledygook stuff on my shoes. Yep, I learned an important lesson in another video, why you do not change the oil in Oklahoma wind. Yep, I made the biggest mess in the backyard of my house, and I'll show you that in the video when I bring back the S63 AMG. <laughs> Yep, she's back with another video and the world's biggest apology. So anyway, as she powers up, what we're going to do is read the codes and we're gonna see everything that is wrong with the R230. I'm loving the launch. I really am loving this launch system. It reads the codes automatically. It uh, finds the VIN automatically and you are off to the races. See, how long was that? Super, super easy. Oops. Okay, I've got it balanced up here on my gear selector. I've got it balanced up here on my gear selector. We'll try it again. All right, we've got the car running now. We're going to let her scan, find the car. There it is, 2005 Mercedes SL500. Start the vehicle detection. Yep. And as far as this goes, brakeware, visit workshop. ABC visit workshop. What does this say? Convenience functions temporarily unavailable. I don't even know what that means. The brakeware. ABC. Convenience functions temporarily unavailable. Does that mean my convenience battery is done for? It's a brand new battery. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna let this run. It's not gonna take long, but we're running a health report over all of the systems. See, no fault, no, not equipped, no fault, no fault, no fault. We should get a lot with the ABC, active body control. Let's see what happens here. And then I'll pause the video and we'll come back. Yeah, six, six, count them six faults in the ABC system. We'll come back. As that continues to scan, I'm getting a really weird sound from the engine compartment that I don't like. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Can you hear it? I don't like the sound. There's fluid in there. very little fluid in there okay so before we blow out the pump let's turn this off I don't like that sound at all that could get expensive so let's do this yeah once the vehicle went up I started getting that weird sound so we need some more fluid we're halfway through with the uh, health report though. So we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we're back. Let me put on my glasses here. 
and go ahead and read this here diagnostics report see what we got going on okay the cool thing about the launch is it will actually email it to me so I'm gonna do that as well but let's just kind of see how many six for the ABC system overhead control panel one electronic ignition switch one lower control panel two Sam abnormal six Sam on the passenger side one rear Sam all my Sam's are mad okay I've got four system diagnosis two instrument cluster three parktronic one audio gateway two door control module left one module right one two for the multi multi-contour backrest and two for the multi-contour backrest front right yay loving that okay let's count them two four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 25, 27, 28, 29, 35 errors. 35 errors. 35 errors. Yep. All right. We got 35. You have time to see what they are? Let's do it. Let's just kind of go in here and see. No. No, 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 no. Go back. Oh my gosh, did you just start over? Well, I hit a back button and erased it all. I just erased everything. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. I have no, I have new fluid in the power steering, not power steering, the ABC. Pump, so the sound is gone. The weird sound is gone. Let's see what's gonna happen. Are you gonna remember where you were? Come on. You were just there. So we're gonna, okay, I didn't email it to myself like I said I was going to. I hit the wrong button. Dag, nab it. Okay, so we're gonna go through this again. How many, we had, what, 35? Yeah, 35 problems with the first run. Let's see what happens with the second run. Okay, while we're waiting for this, we learned how many miles are on the car. Can I zoom in? Can you kind of see? Loving the display that looks like crap. Look at that, 75 degrees on December, what is today, the 14th, I think? Yep, and we have 123,564 miles. The way this thing, oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, it looks so much better on camera that does in real life for some reason. I can barely read this in real life. So, 123,584 is the mileage. It's been a hard 123,584 miles for Rusty, yep. Okay, now I want to show you a cool little feature here on the uh, R230. Yep, I got two windows right there. I've got one button for each side, okay? Let's see, if I push one, okay, that window goes down. If I push it again, the second window goes down. Isn't that fancy? If I hold it up, there's one window, and then if I hit it again, see, right there, that one goes up. Isn't that cool? And just like that, we have one diagnostics report ready to go. Before I erase this, or back it up and lose it all, we're gonna share it, okay? So I'm gonna send this, I'm gonna email this to myself. We're emailing it just like that. How cool is that? I love the launch. Okay, first time I ran this, we had 35, right? So let's kind of count these very, very quickly. We got one, two, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 19, 20, 24, 25, 27, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36, 38, 40, 41. Things got worse. 41 errors. I went from 35 to 41. So let's very quickly take a look. What's the engine control module problem? We got a P20B8, increased idle speed due to SBC low voltage. I don't even know. We have Senso brake control abnormal under voltage supply. I think my convenience battery is the problem there. Even though it's brand new, it needs to charge up. ABC, here we go. Right rear suspension strut moves although locking valve is closed. Then we have critical level, critical level, pressure too low. All of that is stored, except for, it looks like maybe this one. See, right rear, remember I told you that one was low? 
Okay, supplemental inflatable restraint system. Supply voltage of control units is too low. Okay, under voltage, I can deal with that. Uh, overhead control panel in car temperature sensor is implausible. Huh, okay. Uh, ignition switch under supply voltage. Uh, lower control panel, fault in CAN communication with the control unit. Voltage supply is too low. That's all right. Okay, the driver's SAM, signal acquisition and activation, actuation, actuation module. Component front, left front side marker is defective. Refrigerant pressure is too low. Fault in communication with the alarm horn. Control unit is not transmitting data, supply voltage is too low, signal input on circuit 15 is not okay. Okay, what's the passenger side, Sam? Supply voltage of control unit is too low. See, I think I just need to charge that little convenient battery, I think. System diagnosis, control module has not been programmed with a knowledge base, whatever that means. Synchronization of DTC memory cannot be ensured. My memory cannot be ensured anymore. I've lost it all. DTC data stream, instrument cluster, fan, fault in CAN communication, central locking control module, control unit is faulty, parktronic, left outer sensor front bumper sensor is faulty, okay, audio gateway, supply voltage is too low, and whatever incorrect CAN message, door control module left, the operating voltage is not within the permissible range. The range was less than 8.5 volts during one second. This is all from that convenience battery that has just died on me for some reason. Operating voltage not permissible. Multi-contour backrest front left. The switch cannot be turned on. Switch S109S. And same thing on the passenger side. 108S, 108S, same thing. Air conditioning. Fault and can communication with roof control panel. It's probably in the trunk because of all of that abnormal stuff in the trunk. All right, so 40, what was that, 41 messages, most of them, because of low voltage. But the one that scares me the most is this guy right there. Right rear suspension strut moves, although the locking valve is closed. That part could get a little expensive right there. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, well the radio works. I wanna show you my two little circles. See, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Yay, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I'm, I just might get a whole nother unit if I keep the car, if I keep the car. That little part right there is turning out to be very expensive. Let me take the leaf out, thank you. Yeah, that's like $150 on the cheap side if you can find one and tan. There's lots of black ones out there. There's very few tan ones. Um, air conditioner seems to work. The windows work. This is looking good. She shifts in and out of gear. Super easy. Watch, we'll go forward. There's some of the Parktronic working. Yeah, because I'm so close to the thing. You guys want to go for a quick little spin? You want to go for a quick little spin with me around the um, division? Let's do that. Let's go. We're going to go backwards. She does have a title. She does have a tag. We are good to go with all of this. I don't have my seatbelt on, so let me do that real quick, too. But look at this. She's running and driving. Oh, there's the creek. Can you hear the creek? Closed trunk. ABC, visit workshop. Okay, okay, the hood's not closed either. I know, I know, we're not gonna go too fast. We're just going for a quick little spin to see, oh, okay, that shift was smooth. Super, super duper smooth. That's one of my favorite houses here, I love it. I know, I know, we're just gonna turn around and we're gonna go home. Okay, we're just going around here. We've got a couple of bumps. Just gonna drive very slowly. Let's see how everything is going. Wave at the neighbors. Hi, how are you? Okay. 
this is a quiet car. I, you really can't hear anything on the outside. My window looks like, my mirror looks like crap right there. Yeah, that's horrible. Brakes work. Okay, when I hit the brakes and I go slow, that thing beeps. It's probably because that sensor up front is missing, right? Wouldn't you think that would be it? Because watch, I gotta make a turn here. I'm gonna hit the brakes, I gotta hit a bump too. Okay, let's just kinda see what happens. Does this work? Okay, that works. Yeah, when I slow down, that's because of that sensor on the bumper, I think. Yeah, I think so. And I'll show you what that is when we get back home. But she's got power, folks. She's got some power to her. The only thing I hear inside is my see that right there is a little askew. <laughs> it fell down. That's the only thing I hear as far as rattles or anything. Okay, now, let's do the window and I want to see if you guys can hear the sound that it's making, okay? Yeah, can you hear that? Okay, now, let's put the microphone on the camera and we'll hang the camera out the window and you listen to this sound. I don't like that sound. Okay, let's put this up. Thank you for your service. I know, I know, I know! My goodness, you drive me crazy. I don't know how long this is gonna go on. I have the key right here. Don't forget the key, okay? I know, I know, stop. Stop. How long does this go on? Maybe if I close the door. Stop. Multifunction memory, two malfunctions. I don't know how you read those. Do you hit this button here? Can you see? Breakware, visit workshop. Okay, anyway. All right, now that that has stopped, let's finish this video. Let's have a little chit chat. Loving the car. I got to tell you, I am so surprised that this car has brought so many people <laughs> to the channel. Um, it's scary because everything, if I screw it up, could get very, very expensive very, very quickly. So we've run the codes, 41 messages, most of them related to a low voltage supply, which I think is going to be the convenience battery. So we'll have to check that and see what that is sitting at because the car hasn't been driven in quite a while. Um... We also have the ABC issue, the right rear ABC issue. The locking valve uh, is closed. With the, anyway, blah, 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 blah. so we got to check that out and see what that is. If I have to buy a right rear strut, I'm going to say it's probably maybe $500. I don't know. i got to check on eBay. I'll do that. I'll put the price right here. There we go. If that's all it is, all right, if I can fix that with one strut, clear the codes get my little piece right here on the dash. I already have a seat replacement. Okay. We already have that. So we got to put that in. That's all there is. I could have some room left over to either address the paint or put a wrap on the car. And that's the big debate right now. Do I put a wrap on it, which would be kind of cool, or do I get a Mako paint job? Or do I figure out just how to touch up the uh, clear coat? Or do I leave it alone 
and just run it through the auction? Or do I keep it? I don't know, okay? You know my present situation. This is how I'm making money now. So, yeah, we gotta be very, very careful with the money that is going out. <laughs> and I say that and I've, as I've just found another car that I want. Another W140, two doors, not four, but I've wanted one of those for my entire life. And I found one, and I'm gonna go look at it today or tomorrow. It's a coupe. Yeah, an S500 coupe. Coupe. Yep, you don't see those very often, and they look fantastic. And there was one that almost came into my life, but I was this, this, this close to actually getting it. Okay, so that's what I need help with, folks. What do I do with the car? Okay, the choice is wrap, paint, flip. Yeah, ABC. ABC suspension. So let me know what you think. And if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for uh, joining the Monkey Wrench Mike crew, all of the monkeys here on YouTube. I want to say that uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Now that I can do this full time, so, loving it. thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry I kind of rambled on this one, but that's okay. We're learning a lot. And I got to tell you, if you are looking for a scanner, the launch system is the bomb. I'm loving it. I really, really, really like this one. Uh, this is the 909E. Yep, there it is right there, folks. Highly, highly, highly recommend that little baby right there. Okay, if you have a kid, if you have kids, go out and give them a hug. Tell them you love them because they will remember that. Remember, remember that for the rest of their life. Check out the soul patch. It's looking good, isn't it? Loving it. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Bye.